Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a little bit of a unboxing, unpackaging video. Well, in front of us, of course, we have a nice uh, white wrapped uh, package. And of course, it's just your standard uh, plastic bag. They stuck something in, taped her on shut. I uh, don't know if y'all can make out uh, where it's from, but essentially it's from Pitney Bowes uh, Gateway Crescent out of uh, Mississauga, Ontario. Now, of course, uh, Pitney Bowes, uh, from what I understand, is like uh, possible of like a stationery company. A lot of times that name I've seen on like paper goods and such. So uh, this one here, if it's what I think it is, is actually going to be something um, possible of interest. So, of course, taking my handy dandy knife, rip the package open, cut her on open. Now, of course, a lot of you will know exactly what this is the moment that I pull it uh, out of the package. And probably a lot of you already know what it is just uh, based on the first initial color. So of course, uh, pulling the package uh, off the item, we have ourselves an OtterBox Defender for our new um, iPhone. Now first of all, I'd like to say no, this is not uh, my case. Um, it is a case I'm um, unboxing for uh, somebody else, but for my um, you know 20% of a female audience that likes to watch my videos, I figured I would do an unboxing on this here case just to show um, you know what to expect when you pull it out of the package. Now of course for the uh, people who are wanting to buy an outer box whether it's for an iPhone 5, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, you know even an iPhone 4 or 4S even if those are still even around, um, they're all are pretty much going to unbox the same way and they're really pretty much going to install the same way. Uh, first of all, I like to say about the OtterBox design is they are great, really, really great design. They work uh, really, really well for uh, their intended purpose. So of course, uh, you know, tearing into the package here, slide it on out. You know, nothing left in the package. Flipping her on over, of course, this is the real tree brand of uh, case. Now, from what I'm told, this is an authentic uh, otter box. It's not one of the uh, clones or knockoffs. So once you've lifted it out, you'll find in the bottom kind of a nice, uh, you know, welcome to planet otter box. It kind of tells you, uh, you know, about the product and uh, such. It does give you a uh, diagram here of uh, installation instructions. And again, um, I'd recommend reading the instructions for first time users. Especially if you've never installed a one before, it can come into, well, you know, handy very, very well. So, of course, to snap the uh, case off of the belt clip, you just gently pull up on this here lever. And it just releases um, entirely from the belt clip itself. Some people don't use that clip. Other people like to have it on their belt. Um, you know, being it's pink, you'll probably keep it in your purse or, you know, in your pocket or so. Um, if you want to keep it on your belt, it just, uh, you know, snaps uh, back into place, kind of like this. And really, um, I've never had one yet jump out of the belt clip itself. I've had, uh, you know, the belt clips um, themselves uh, break, but I've never had the holster, um, you know, l let go of the foam. So of course, uh, first thing you're going to notice is a nice clear, uh, what they call a thermal formed clear membrane. Now this has a high impact polycarbonate uh, shell here that I guess does what it uh, does to absorb any of the you know, bumps and um, stuff like that you're going to put it through. And of course the grey and the pink is the silicone skin. It absorbs the uh, shocks and bumps as well. So essentially, you have yourselves three layers of uh, protection on your, your phone here to keep it, uh, you know, damage free for, you know, the length you own your phone. So of course, one thing neat again about the holster design is it does a full rotating 360 degree uh, clip. 
so you know you can clip it on either your uh, belt or pants going vertically or you can clip it you know horizontally uh, one of the things I noticed they have improved over the belt clips or the holsters for the Ford 4S is they used to have a, a very annoying little latch um, that came down into here and as soon as you uh, bent over to squeeze it open it liked to uh, latch and of course this one here has an improved design to um, you know for the latch of course with uh, this new design um, it uh, still has the kickstand uh, feature like the old one did have and it still has the same uh, latch open type feature but again it just pops right down now if that does get in the way and it does annoy you I'm sure you can do what I used to do with all my other uh, holsters from the 4 and 4 S's and you just trim that off it doesn't affect the uh, strength of the case or you know the part that holds the phone in it all it just keeps that annoying little clip from uh, you know bugging you so of course enough talk here let's tear on the uh, case here apart now of course the first uh, time you take it apart it's always the toughest get your nail in between the uh, silicone and of course the plastic or polycarbonate uh, case kind of run your finger around the outer edge effectively just peeling it back now you want to be careful around uh, you know these little buckles and whatever holes and snaps there is because of course uh, you will tear the case if you get forceful with it um, some of my well experienced cases over time they've actually started to stress crack there and then uh, when the case fails the silicone skin or shell doesn't really you know stay on it very well so once you've got you know three quarters of it peeled away stick your thumb between the polycarbonate again and of course the silicone skin and just gently uh, work the case out of the skin of course uh, you know being aware of the home button it has itself a cover on it pretty much like that and then of course to split apart the polycarbonate case to get your phone inside use your nail again kinda gently uh, pull up on the tab if you want to see pretty much essentially like that go around to the other side find the other little tab now I wouldn't recommend using anything sharp because uh, you know just say you were prying on it and it slipped you could one scratch the inside of the skin which would really suck uh, you could stab yourself or two um, the biggest thing here if your phone was inside you could end up scratching your phone which would really uh, defeat the purpose of a case in front of us we have our handy dandy iPhone uh, of course it's the gold one we'll slide her on in here take your uh, cover and essentially make sure everything's lined up uh, make sure it's not you know upside down or so snap her on in like that and uh, basically it's it's in there it's not going to go too far slide the polycarbonate shell back inside line up the uh, the home button and then uh, what I like to do is start uh, trying to get the phone itself into the case kind of all the way around just working it taking your time being patient and of course uh, virtually it's in there right now but as you see here we have a little bit of uh, lifting action if you want to say so you just gently uh, work those in place snap down the uh, earbud uh, hole here as well as the charging port and that should take care of any of the other uh, remaining wrinkles so of course basically you have your volume up and down buttons uh, this is your master sound switch to turn it off and on like silent mode and such and again that was your uh, main charging or you know USB data transfer port and of course your headphone jack so pretty much snap it back in the belt clip if you want and well she's good to go now of course the only downside I see to this case will it will fit the iPhone 5s 
but you will not be able to use the fingerprint technology. I'm assuming uh, the actual cases for the actual 5S, if I remember right, have a cutout that goes in here that allows you to use your, uh, you know, print technology that it needs to be. Now, of course, eventually, you know, you can do an upgrade here, get yourself a, uh, a new case and make sure it has the actual uh, fingerprint cutout and then really away she goes. But pretty much this has been an unboxing and a bit of a first look and an install of a Realtree uh, camouflage or camo case for an iPhone 5. And again, this will fit the 5S. There's no problems here, especially if you're not planning on using the uh, fingerprint technology. But if you want to, the cases are slightly different. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.